Vanessa Feltz has been a familiar face on our screens for decades, and is known for speaking her mind and flying the flag for strong women. But despite her confident personality, Vanessa was recently shaken to her core by her devastating split from her long-term partner, Ben Ofoedu. And while friends, family and fans have praised her for keeping her head held high after her ex admitted cheating and sexting other women, it's not been as easy as she makes it look. Vanessa told The Mirror, as everyone knows, I had a very bad and broken heart and it was horrible. People think I've been amazingly brave, but really on the inside, I just feel as awful as anybody else would. The 61-year-old TV personality has relied on her close-knit network for support, and now she feels as though she is on the road to recovery. I've been so hurt, crushed and dismayed and worried about the future, Vanessa admitted. There is always light at the end of the tunnel, and when Vanessa was approached for E4S Celebs Go Dating, it was a no-brainer. It felt like the most unlikely and peculiar thing to do, but I thought, why not have an adventure? She said. The celebrity Big Brother icon decided to do something wildly outside of her comfort zone and agreed to go on a reality show she never thought in a million years she'd end up on, with a large filming crew following her on dates. Speaking about her dream man, Vanessa said, above all, I would like to find somebody who is trustworthy, who you can actually believe when they say, I'm going away for the weekend, and not fear they're secretly seeing somebody else, or that they'll succumb to any woman who flutters her eyelashes. To know they care about you and they are loyal to you, that you can trust them and believe in them. But loyalty isn't the only thing, even at my advanced age, you've got to fancy them. There's got to be some kind of chemistry. Vanessa said that her type hasn't changed since her 20s. I still want somebody who is handsome, fun, kind and good company. It's very, very hard to find and I don't think it'll be easy, she said. I've been a pretty terrible picker in the past, so I'm certainly hoping the agency will help me pick better. Despite her bad luck, Vanessa feels confident about being able to open up her heart. I hope I will be able to trust again. I think it would be a big shame to be really cynical and skeptical about everybody, she said. I will continue to believe that there are good people out there who mean what they say and say what they mean. I hope I'm not naive and stupid by being optimistic. Vanessa has been on three dates so far on the Channel 4 show and revealed that none of them have necessarily been her ideal man. My dream date would be one where the conversation flows easily and you're not aware of the time passing by, she explained. When you're immersed in the other person and naturally find interesting things to talk about. It wouldn't matter where it was or what food we were eating, I couldn't care less about that. Just that I would feel as though I'm basking in the company, that would be my ideal first date and second and third. The mom of two thinks it's a good idea to not date people in the public eye, and feels positive about the potential lover Zana Williamson has lined up. If I'm completely honest, I don't like being single, so I'm very pleased to be dating on the program to get some practice and meet new people, Vanessa said. The most daunting part is putting yourself out there and offering your companionship to complete strangers and hoping they want it. I'm putting myself on the path of rejection, when I already feel very damaged and wounded. But with the help of her incredible family, and the latest addition of a fourth grandchild, Vanessa has many distractions when she's sat at home alone. My new grandchild Sicily is absolutely delightful and is a great adornment to my life, 
she said. She's already almost walking and very conversational. I think she's a superstar. Vanessa, who has two daughters, Allegra, 37, and Saskia, 34, said her family are very close and see each other almost every day. I like to see my grandbabies all the time and I've got a lovely house in Ireland right on the sea, she said. When we are there, we all live together. We feel very lucky. The TV presenter, who has partnered with Gosh, for a new campaign, loves a trip away from home and is also passionate about taking small breaks every day. I love being outside and am a massive gardener. I love planting, getting rid of weeds and feeling the benefits of vitamin D on my face, she said. I enjoy it most when I have friends over and some drinks, but obviously I can't do that on a working day, so that's when I have a gosh. Snack, Vanessa said. My current affairs talk show is on at 4 p.m., so it's a time when you especially start to feel tired. I need a cheeky snack that picks me up before I go on air. I'm not totally plant-based but I am a flexitarian. I was once invited by Paul McCartney to a lunch where he spoke about veganism and how it benefits the environment and our health to go plant-based one day a week. I was quite taken by that and it's stayed with me ever since. New research by Gosh, found that a third of workers never venture outside their home or office during the working day, but just 15 minutes can help to reduce stress. Vanessa's campaign encourages Brits to love their lunch times again with a healthy and nutritious food range.